Well, hello about Redlands. <laughs> Welcome to another Taste Test Friday um, quarantine edition. This was my excuse to put on makeup today. Um, so we have Escape Craft Brewery. Oh, what do you put? <laughs> my tasters, aka my family. Um, <laughs> so today we have Escape Craft Brewery. We have lots of beers from them. I can try none of them because I'm pregnant. But I have people who can drink. It's very exciting. So um, I think you guys can jump in. You can. I'll show you my tasters. Oh. <laughs> There's we Deborah and Ross. <laughs> um, so my favorite thing about Escape Craft Brewery is that there's something for everyone. Um, there's they have toys and like a chalkboard area for your children. They have soda. They have hard seltzer. They have oh my what is it? Twenty three beers on tap. And games. Yeah, games. They, all of the things. So many games. I know. Uh, my husband and I used to go there a lot when we first started dating, and we would play Giant Jenga. And <laughs> what else did they have? We, no, we only played Giant yeah, Jenga. Giant we like Giant it. Jenga. Yeah. <laughs> um, and let me just check if... Okay. Still waiting on Escape. But um, Escape also caters. You can get them to come to your events. We had them at our wedding. <laughs> And um, fact, isn't your reunion, class reunion, going to be there? Yep, we're having our 10-year high school reunion there. They've had multiple reunions there before. They, they've actually had a wedding there, and their crazy. space is huge. They have an entire back room for events. Um, to anyone just jumping on, we are doing Taste Test Friday from our house. <laughs> I hope everybody's not terribly bored with all of their family just yet. Um... Let me troubleshoot this, you guys. So we're waiting for... Hi, guys. Uh, hi. We're waiting for Melissa, uh, co-owner of Escape, to join us on a split screen. So uh, we're just waiting for her to sign on. So in the meantime, Ross and I get to try all of these. And these are in these kind of cans because they don't normally can these, right? Is that, is that what yeah. that was? Okay. But uh, we were looking at some of them. What was the one you said had 9%? That one. That one. Pastry. So, Pastry, stout, coconut, pecan, and maple, 9.6. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, <laughs> they signed on. Ha! I can do this now. And... and. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we miss you too, Diana. And connecting. Hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, now we can. No. <laughs> Of course. Hi, Melissa. Hi. <laughs> thank you for having me. Oh, well, thank you. And in fact, I was shocked when I opened the bag. <laughs> I was like, right on. <laughs> well, I mean, I wanted to, you know, make sure you had a really good Friday. Oh, well, you know, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> so before we actually jump into the drinking, um, tell us how people can still get your beer right now and can they get anything? Tell them, give me a little breakdown. All right, so we are open to go only as everybody is. Um, everything from, you know, cans. Uh, we've got crowlers and growlers. We are accepting other people's growlers. Some breweries are only accepting purchase of new growlers, but we do sanitize everything when it comes in. So bring your growlers. We're happy to fill them. In fact, we really need you to bring your growlers because we are almost out, and our shipment has been delayed like everybody else's. Um, we can do cans to go. We're actually going to be moving from doing these. Uh, so this is a crawler for anybody who doesn't know. Oh, okay. A crawler is a 32 ounce version of a can that we can do on demand. So people can come in, have it filled up. We seal the top. So it actually has a real seal with the pop top, just like a regular can. Um, and then you take that on your way. These are also delayed. Oh, wow. So we're hoping to get these back in by next week. We're on our last few. Um, but luckily, we have about 4,000 of these. Oh, so my. How many ounces? How many ounces is it in that? So, so this one is 32 ounces. So oh, this wow. is two pints. Okay. Um, so starting in a few minutes, if you come in for one of these, we're going to give you two of these. And that will be the equivalent of the 32. Okay. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> so also something fun for everybody watching. Escape just started making hand sanitizer. Oh yeah! Uh, <laughs> so um, depending on the day, 
The containers change almost daily. Uh, anybody out there who sells containers wholesale, please hit me up because everybody's out of them everywhere. Um, I have wholesalers who deal in the millions and millions of containers and they don't even have any. So we're sourcing them wherever we can go. They're between two and three ounces. Um, it is a mixture of alcohol at uh, 75 or 80%, depending on what the requirement is for that particular alcohol. It has a little bit of glycerin in it to protect your skin. So we're doing these as fast as we can. Um, yesterday, Highland came and they got a bunch for the fire department. The sheriff's department came. But for everybody else, please come in. If you need to pick up some, we have them. They're about um, 5 to $7, depending on what the container cost us. Uh, save your containers. We're hoping to be able to produce enough that we can do refills. Uh, but they're just, they're just a liquid. There's no more gel left in the world either. Okay. But the liquids work great. Um, you don't have to buy beer, right? You don't have to buy beer to get them. You can come in. And you right you do right. not have to buy beer to get these. <laughs> right. 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 We have right. we have brand new customers who have never been here before, and they're like, "I don't drink beer," but I'm like, "That's okay. We have sanitizer." <laughs> See, literally something for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, which beer are we going to start with? Yeah, let's drink. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I just yeah, everybody, let's we're open seven days a week. You can still come in. You can go online if you go to our website. We have a link to our shopping cart, and it's updated daily. It'll tell you what beers we have available and what sizes. Um, you can pay for it online. You can either show up and pick it up when it's ready. You can let us know when you're here, and we'll bring it out to the curb for you. Um, so that can be 100% contactless. You can just walk in and order beer at the counter. Like Luckily, we have a really big facility, um, and so that's still available. We're open Monday through Thursday. 2 to 8 o'clock, uh, Friday, Saturday, noon to 8 o'clock, and Sunday, six, uh, 12 to 6 o'clock. Awesome. Are, are you guys delivering at all? We are working on delivery. Um, people who live locally in Redlands, we're saying if you can do like a $30 order, we will totally set up to do delivery. If you don't want to leave your house, it's totally fine. Um, and we're following all the regular stuff with, you know, we've all got our, our masks and our gloves and everything. So I'm in the safe confines of my office so I can drink a beer without a mask on. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> It'd be a little uh, awkward. Where are we starting? Yeah, which beer are we going to start with? Okay, so I would start with... Let's see. start with um, Sakura. Sakura is one of my favorite beers okay. of all time. Okay, this for my hair. It's actually, it's such a pretty can. Yeah. Thanks. So this is Sakura. <laughs> it's going to be um, a little bit of a hazy beer because it's a wheat beer. Um, and it's actually infused with cherry blossom green tea so that's why it has a lot of aroma a really nice light refreshing flavor this is like my go-to beer and this was one of your guys's first beers right i um this probably came it. out in like year two okay yeah. there we go okay cheers cheers, cheers guys <laughs> happy friday happy friday cheers <laughs> Ooh. oh it's not oh wow well you can totally uh taste the cherry blossom Oh my. Yeah, it's, it is super light, super smooth. That's good. Go to, like you said, summertime drinking by the pool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's yeah. my favorite. Now you, if I remember correctly, this is a cherry blossom tea that don't you get it locally, right? Um, we have a mix. So we use a little bit um, of a black cherry that we get locally on. Oh, I'm totally going to blank on the name of this awesome Redlands company. Yeah, and in fact, we, tea company. It, it's the tea company. I think we were there yes. uh, for the wedding, for their wedding. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, we're going to think of it. We're going to do a shout out because they, they make great tea and they've got this adorable little shop and everything smells so good. Um, and then the yeah, other part of it is from Harney and Sons, um, which is this amazing tea company. You can find their teas in some of your, like your world market on um, even uh Starbucks even carries them. So it's a tea family that's actually been sourcing and producing tea for like something crazy, like a hundred years or something. Oh, wow. And it's actually the Harney family. So we get a balance of blends from everybody. Awesome. Nice. Well, it's, it's really delicious. I think anybody that likes um, tea in particular, yeah. that cherry blossom, oh my gosh, you love that. Now, is, that one, is that one of your original beers or is that one recent? This one is probably about year two, and we just brought it out as a fun spring release, and it stuck. Yeah. Yum. Okay. So next up, let's do Joyride. Joyride. There you go. All oh, right. 
I love the cans. Who does all the artwork? Um, the we all kind of brainstorm it and we try to come up with fun stuff. So that one is really cool. That is an actual Vespa that's owned by Kate, who works at Stell Coffee. It's oh, a vintage. Nice. Uh, it's, oh, she's the best. It's Stell's the best. <laughs> so she, um, she brought her Vespa over. We did a photo shoot in the parking lot. And then I took it over to Jam Sportswear, and we superimposed it on some artwork of Italy. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it was super fun. <laughs> so this is um, probably one of our lighter drinking beers. It's going to be a Pilsner. We call it a European Pilsner because we kind of found all the um, the taste and the level of hoppiness. Um, it's really bright, effervescent, very refreshing, crisp, clean beer. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a big light beer. I want to drink a thousand of them in a sitting. This is good. <laughs> literally. No. Yeah, literally, right? It's not a figurative thing. This is delicious. This Thank is you. very easy drinking. This is um something that the brewers really love. You know, brewers like to make beer and they like to drink beer. So they wanted a beer that they can sit around and have more than one or two of. And Pilsners are the one that you can do that with. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's very light. I'm an IPA kind of girl, but I, that's still good. That, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's still a really um yeah almost almost like a hard hard crispiness rather than you know so curry is gonna follow more with a, a softer finish on your mouth where this is gonna be a little more assertive um, the carbonation comes through a little bit more just because it's a a lighter cleaner beer mm -hmm. um and this is something that we really wanted for a long time to have that you know it, this could be your lawnmower beer or just this is the yeah. beer that you just hang out and drink. Yeah, you see, and I was just going to say, this is something like, so I, I love Miller Lite, I'm sorry, it's just, it, it, it's not <laughs> or anything like that. However, this is something that's way better than it, and it's it's local, it's a local brew, I'll go to this before I go to that. Thank you, that's all we want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Converting one, one big beer drinker at a time. Yeah, and that's tough, it's yeah. tough to do. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, next. All right. All right, so next up. We're going to go. <laughs> Let's go into civil disturbance. I, I love, okay. The <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Are you going to sell by? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love them. Now, this is going to be your favorite. Mom. Yeah. So. This is definitely also, you know, you always kind of want to, hey, as a brewer, what do you drink? So between, you know, Joyride and Civil Disturbance, we call it Civil D. Uh, this is my husband Josh's two go-to beers. Uh, this was his first love, his standby. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it smells great. So good. You're going to get um, a lot of citrus notes, and that's all from the Citra hops. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so sad. I know. This keeps I smell, it smells like an uh, idea. It smells so good. Oh, yeah. You're going to have a predominantly lemon, grapefruit, yeah. and then you're going to have a little bit of pininess followed through oh, that. Right. There was no lemons hurt in the making of this beer. It's 100% from the hops. That is, this is really good. This is it, not a, a, a lawnmower beer. This, mm -hmm. is, this is not easy drinking. It depends on the size of your lawn. Yeah, what is the percent on this one? Uh, this is going to be 6.9%. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's full no, flavor. It's still good. Oh, it's really oh, good. Mm -hmm. Really refreshing and bright. This is what's always in my fridge along with the first two. Yeah. So I've had this before, and it's one of my favorites. Awesome. So good. Yeah, we enjoy it. And um, that label was actually a collaboration of us and one of our customers, Jay. Uh, he's a comic book artist. So we kind of came up with the idea. Yeah. yeah it's, it's based off of, like, a vintage uh, horror movie, kind of. Um, and then we obviously changed it to be a hot monster. Do they have, uh, actually have competitions for uh, art, for canned art? You know, because some of these beer bottles have really cool, you know. There's some fun ones. You know, there's a few out there, um, but they're not big like the beer competitions are yet. Okay. But I'm sure it's coming because there is some amazing <laughs> art. Well, we need to start one. There you go. Maybe we'll have to start one. <laughs> so are these now all year round beers? Yes. If I come into the tap, no matter, no, or the, the, okay. the tap, no matter what, I can come in, I can get each one of those? 
Yeah, unless somebody just bought all of them before you. You know what? I mean, okay. I might be coming and getting. Well, I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say, unless Ross comes and buys all of these and everybody else's, yeah. We, we try to keep it in stock. We've got about 18,000 cans coming in next week. I don't think you can drink that much. <laughs> I mean, you know, challenge accepted. Yeah. yeah. All right, okay. so next up, let's move to. Let's move into Cheeky Tiki. Actually, you guys have two things. You've got um, Carry On and Cheeky Tiki. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I want you guys to grab both. Okay. Um, both? Both? Yes. So they're, they're different, but they're similar. Um, and this is going to be something kind of fun. So Cheeky Tiki and Carry On are both a sour. They're both something that we keep on year-round, but we change the fruit on it pretty much every single time that we make it. Um, I'm looking at my collection of cans up here. I don't have one in here. Okay, so are we... We're... Wow. Okay, so let's do this Sorry. first. Yes. Yes. So currently, Cheeky Tiki, these are all inspired by Cheeky uh, Tiki drinks. This is going to be a blackberry mm -hmm. raspberry oh, tangerine. Oh, my gosh. These totally taste the berry. It smells like juice. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. it like and juice. it looks like juice. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's, ni it's nice and carbonated, too. Oh, yum. Yeah, really refreshing, bright. You know, yeah. people who aren't necessarily a beer drinker, a lot of times we can give them carry on or cheeky tiki, and they're like, oh my gosh, I found a beer that I can drink because it is a real beer, but it's light and bright and it's not bitter. Yeah, in See, fact, I wouldn't have thought this was a beer. I was just going to say, yeah. that's this, this is dangerous because I can oh, yeah. found this and not even, not even <laughs> taste any of the alcohol. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. What is that? Um, cheeky is going to be, oh, of course, you would ask me that. I don't know five. There you go. Thank you. That is danger. Wow. Yeah. And it doesn't taste that like it. That is danger. Yeah. Because yeah. this does not taste like a beer. And that... it's so pretty. Right? It's pretty. That's it's, like, it's and that's right. all real color from the berries. See, yeah. you got it. I mean, yours is colorful. And like, mine is gone. You can oh. <laughs> There's more than well, you can. You put this in like a champagne glass. Or oh, totally. Pretty. And, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And yeah, people who don't like beer would love this. So you could do a fun punch with that. Oh, yes. Absolutely. We've put a uh, sherbet in it before and done some sherbet. Yeah. Super fun. Oh my uh, gosh, that is shockingly good. Thank I you. Would never, I would never have it tried that. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't taste like beer. No, no. And it's a real beer. And it's a sour beer, which is kind of fun, too. Yeah. Last uh, July, and, and hopefully this July, we'll have our Tiki Festival. And that was when this made its debut last year. This makes a great Tiki cocktail drink, too. So instead of using liquor, we use beer, and then we add other juices and garnishes and umbrellas and all sorts yeah. of fun stuff. Much better choice. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. way more fun. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. Now, now I want you to try oh, carry on. Okay, carry on. <laughs> oh, so carry on is also a sour. Can you look at the color of that? Like, take it. Yeah. Look at the color of that. It's beautiful. It's like yeah. yeah. So this is kind so, of yeah. fun. Because today, these two beers happen to be a little bit similar, which usually Cheeky Tiki and Carry On have very different fruits at one time. Um, right now, oh. Carry On is a blackberry peach. Oh, my gosh. The peach in this is... Holy cow. Oh, my gosh. That's all it tastes like. Ross loves peach. Peach cobbler oh. is my favorite dessert. So Perfect. That is... Wow, that is so good. So the crazy thing with this beer... Um, is it is a soured beer, which we use lactobacillus to sour our beers. But this one, we stepped it up, and we actually have been making our own sourdough at home. And so my husband, Josh, has been cultivating his own sourdough yeast, I want to say for about six months now. And you can actually use bread yeast in beer, and that will create a souring agent. So oh, this is now... Yes. Yes. Oh, we were wondering. Yeah. Is there bread in here or what? I know. Yeah. How so. Nice. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Also, uh, Doe Dudes just commented that they're sipping on their Lazy Day IPA right now. <laughs> love it. That's so awesome. I love those guys. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Okay, Thank Melissa, you. we'll say it again for people who are just turning in right now, or tuning in right now. You can get your beer at How right now. You can get your beer right now, either on our website or walk into the brewery. We're open until 8 o'clock. Only to go. You can't hang out. Only to go. We can't pour you a glass, but we can we can pour you a nice can, and you can take it home and sit, you know, at your staycation in your living room. 
Social, social distancing, right? That's right. You know, we've, we've all been close to together for a while now. So, okay, so. Oh, yeah. we're it's, getting close. I, yeah. I'm really uh, happy because we've been living with them for about a year uh, building a house. And so oh, my gosh. If, if, we, if I were up <laughs> by ourselves, I would die. Oh, but yeah. They're yeah. in their own house now. We now have our settings, but we're still. Oh, know, no, you're still intermingled yeah. <laughs> together. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. No, so, yeah, we're, we're really excited about this new carry-on, and this is what we're going to keep doing in it. It actually gave this one a little bit more of a, a sour tartness than our previous ones. So now we can say it's truly a Redlands beer. You know, sourdough is from all the yeast in the air, and it's cultivated here in Redlands, and now we're souring our beer with authentic Redlands wild yeast. So that's pretty cool. Oh, nice. And that's, awesome. the, that's the carry-on, right, Melissa? Yeah, yeah that's carry-on. And it's only 4%. Right. Yeah. So you that can drink one for a long time. That's a drinkable beer right there. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I would get in trouble. Yeah. Okay. We'd all get in trouble. Yeah. All right. Next Move up, on. you are going to grab something really special. It's called Hop Along 2020. Wait, okay. Which one is that? Is that the pastry stout or is that the? Yeah, Wait. that's a pastry stout. It's right? gonna be the pastry stout. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So that was just released today. This is a small oh. batch beer that oh, we wow. made. Yeah. I saw the I saw the percentage on it and I was a little nervous. Oh, this scared? Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Oh my goodness! It's delicious. One of our brewers, Scott, he came up with this recipe. So this is a really nice stout, um, and we kind of eastered it up. He did um, hand roasted pecans, roasted off some coconut, and then a little shot of Vermont maple syrup. Oh my God, this is like dessert. I was going to say. You could actually put like uh, vanilla ice cream. ice cream in here and make a float. Oh yeah. Oh, have you ever done that? With, uh, with other beers, yeah. This oh. one will be happening tonight. Oh, this is amazing. Wow. You can ask, actually wow. taste the, the maple. Yeah, um, you, it's almost like it's got like a, uh, like a cooked pecan kind of flavor yeah. to it. Yeah. Coffee yeah, it's very yeah so, and, and coffee. So yeah, you got the bitterness from the coffee, mm -hmm. that nice um, light nuttiness from the pecans, kind of balances out with that coconut. Wow. Okay, that's really good. But, yeah, that one just hit today, so it's available today and tomorrow until we run out. I was gonna say this is well, stouts are typically always higher percentage wise, but nine point six percent. Yeah, it's a big one. Nine point six percent sounds like my weekend's getting started right now. Oh yeah, I mean you put like a little marshmallow peep on top, you're good to go. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Leave this out for the Easter Bunny for sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll find him in the morning. <laughs> oh yeah, he's not leaving. He's gonna. He's not leaving. Right? It's a sleepover. Yeah, that's the kind of trap that you need to catch the bunny. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, wow. Okay, and this one. The okay. last one doesn't have any alcohol, right? It okay. doesn't, so this means oh, everybody gets to have some. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, we got a new taster here. <laughs> <laughs> ask, ask. Oh, yeah, get out of the way. <laughs> After having that big, giant stout, you guys, it might take a second. <laughs> so, so you guys, um... Are constantly making different sodas, right? Like you always have one. We we generally have the pineapple cream soda that's kind of become our mainstay. Oh, okay. But sometimes we get a little antsy and we got to try some different stuff. So then we kind of circle back around. That is so delicious. It tastes just like pineapple. Wow. It is literally pineapple cream. <laughs> it is literally pineapple cream. It's vanilla. <laughs> It's not overly sweet. That's yummy. Thank you. And I wouldn't feel left out. Yeah, no. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't like really sweet uh, sodas, but this isn't that sweet, which is good. Yeah, I could actually yeah. drink this. Mm. Yeah, we try not to oversweeten it, so it's to the point where adults like it. It's we we try to keep things as natural as possible. So it's literally cane sugar, just a touch of cane sugar, pineapple oh. juice, uh, vanilla, and then we carbonate it. Yes, oh, wow. it's barely that's carbonated. Really and that is so much better. Yeah, it's so much better for you than like regular sodas that are out there because they put so much sugar in them. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's insane. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. And you just don't even need it. Like the pineapple juice is sweet enough as it is. Right. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, I'm taking this one. So, so that one's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And that one's his. I know it's yours. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got their favorite. 
I know. Anyway, uh, well, I have to say, honestly, I'm not, I, I don't even know, have I had a sour before? I, I would never order one because I would just assume she I would tend to like be it. adventurous with her <laughs> but, she IPA. I know, I'm so, I, but those were absolutely delicious. Like, I'm Thank encouraged to try a sour now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, you know, normally when we're open, we have these little flight trays. Yep. Ah, okay. So you can order four or six different beers and then try everything and see what your favorite is. Yeah. Um, you know, and sometimes there's a beer that you might really like, but you won't necessarily want an entire pint of it. Right. So a lot of our customers, because we're always putting new beers out, yes. they'll come in just for a flight of our new beers, and then they'll follow it up with, you know, a pint of something that they really like. Okay, so that's kind of nice. That's what, yeah. that's what I'm doing for now on. And those are not oh. small <laughs> yeah. light glasses. Like, I know. That's, oh, no. that's, that's it's, a significant it's, pour. It's five ounces <laughs> of love. Yeah. We'll take so care of it. So how many of your anniversary beers have made it to be permanent beers? Have any of them been, been permanent, or are they just special occasion beers? So our anniversary beers have not become permanent because that's usually when we pull all the stops out. Okay. Um, and oftentimes it's uh, ingredients that are either too expensive to use on a regular basis, but more commonly too hard to get. Um, so sometimes I'll spend six months just trying to get a specific hop okay. uh, because many of the really fancy hops are proprietary. So only a few hop farms in the world are allowed to grow them and have them. Um, and we're not a big brewery. We don't you know, have maybe the pull of somebody huge like Firestone Walker. So there's certain hops that we can't even get, um, but usually we'll kind of like really pony up. On a vine mm -hmm. and they're harvested once a year. And that's the most important in most beers and the most expensive in most beers ingredient. And it can lend flavors of bitterness. It can literally taste like pineapple, melon, mint. It could be earthy. Um, the big hops right now we call fragrance hops. Okay. Uh, those could be, a, a, a typical bittering hop could be $6 a pound. Um, a fragrance hop, one of our favorite ones is called Galaxy. It's like $32 a pound right now. Oh, wow. Can, you, do, wow. can we grow hops in Redlands? We can. We've actually grown them at my house. Um, oh. We've grown Citra, Centennial, uh, Cascade. You can buy the rhizomes from a hop supplier um, or like a homebrew shop like More Beer. And they come in like a little stubby rhizome root, and you put them in the ground, and they grow every year from the same root, unless your chickens eat them, like mine. Uh, <laughs> and they grow this beautiful vine. And then you pick off these little hops, um, and you're going to want to, like, seal them up, like, in a food saver so that all the oxygen is out. But we've actually made our own small batches of beer with the hops that we've grown. Oh, my nice. gosh, that's so cool. Okay, well, so you have to tell the story. How did escape start? such a good story. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a, it's a homebrew story. So my husband was a firefighter and he loves to cook. One of his coworkers like, dude, you love to cook. You love craft beer. Why aren't you making your own beer? So he calls me one morning and he's like, Hey, I'm, I'm going to get off shift. Do you mind if I go get a brew making kit, a beer making kit? I was like, ah, oh, yeah, you should totally do that. Cause you're already roasting your own coffee. So he gets a kit and that's like five gallons at a time trashes the kitchen and if anybody's ever home brewed you know how sticky it is it's like six times mopping uh, oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. yeah and the science of it was actually the most addicting part because it's it's such an experimentation and getting your temperatures right uh, extracting sugars at different temperatures from all your grain so it's a really cool science and he got hooked on that we went from bottling which takes six weeks before you can drink the beer and then he started um kegging it Sorry, I'm drinking too much beer. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, so we had a little kegerator. And one day he goes, I think I want to get a bigger kegerator. And I'm like, well, like, what are you thinking? He's like, well, it has eight taps. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's pretty big. I mean, what if we just take the couch out and we make a bar? And he's like, oh, my gosh. Now I know why I married you. <laughs> so when you took the couch out of your living room so that you could have that. Yeah, I mean, oh like God. a front yeah, room that you never use. Ever. Right? Yeah, I like Second we use it for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so we already had a pool table that wasn't a dining room table. 
So we took out the couch that nobody used, and we put in eight tap keg rider. We built a whole bar, and then the neighbors all knew if the garage door was open, that meant the bar was open, because he was making so much beer that we just needed somebody to come over and drink the beer so we could make more beer. Oh wow! So yeah, this this wasn't the plan. We weren't going to open a brewery for a really long time, and enough of our friends and our neighbors like you seriously just need to go open a brewery. Um, thank you for opening. Yeah, thank you. Thank, you. Well, thank our neighbors. Our neighbors are the awesome ones. Okay, Melissa, I got a couple of questions. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. Right. There's a rumor out there that you're moving. Ah. We are going to be getting a downtown spot. Ah, yes. So it's. When is that happening? Um, I mean that's kind of up for debate right now, given the current circumstances. Yeah, I totally, totally understood. Just. You know, you guys uh, plan though ultimately is you're going to be downtown, right? Yeah, ultimately we're planning to move all brewing operations. It's going to be on Oriental Streets, Oriental in Texas. Okay. Um, it's just south of the Sprout Shopping Center. The building is still having work done. They're still doing construction through all of this craziness. They are saying by about the end of July we'll be able to move in. Awesome. So we're hoping awesome. maybe by August or September we'll be up and running. Wow. We will have a full kitchen. We're going to have um, a beautiful Italian-style pizza oven. Oh, so it will be, like, really fun beer-suited foods done in a really, like, kind of worldly, experimental way because we like to experiment and do fun stuff. Um, so that's the plan is we move over there. We've got a east-facing and a west-facing patio. It's a 106-year-old building, which is absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, okay. yeah, it's so That's such a cool building. And you're yeah. going to be making vegan, vegan. Um, oh, yeah. Right? We're going to be doing yeah. vegan food. There's some great vegan cheeses. I mean, almost all of our beers are vegan. Oh, yeah. We're vegetarian. Uh, there's no animal byproducts in our beers, except sometimes some of the sours have a little bit of lactose from yogurt, but now we're trying to move out of that and get into the sourdough. Oh. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then, you know, we still have our place here, so we do private parties and events, as well as the regular tasting room. And yeah, we're, trying, right. we're trying to open a Laguna Niguel, too. <laughs> that was one of my next questions. Yes. So, so you, that, are staying, you are having, you're keeping your spot that you're in currently, correct? We're hoping to. Um, the new place downtown is actually smaller than our spot now, so we're really concerned that we're just not going to have enough space. Is it? Uh, even with Isn't the, that crazy? The patios? What's that? Even with the outdoor patios, the two outdoor patios? It might come almost close. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. But our spot now doesn't have a kitchen. Oh, kitchen. So ah. we're losing a spot. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we're losing a little space. But it's, it's obviously, it's been designed for us. It's a far better use of space, so it's much more space efficient. Um, our hope is that if we can keep this current spot busy enough with private parties, because we have a lot of people who are just like, I don't want to go downtown. I want to stay here at home because we work right here. Um, that maybe this place turns into like a barrel aging program and we can still have our private events. People get married here, believe it or not. It's crazy. Yeah. Baby showers, retirement parties. So if it works, we would love to keep this place everything we get comes in pallets. So it's like really big bulky stuff. And then we do all of our main production over downtown. Um, and we kind of balance the two out. Uh, Laguna Niguel is going to have beer being produced. Um, special brews for out there, but Redlands is our home and it's gonna be our production facility too. Awesome. Oh, I think that's amazing. Well, do you guys give tours right now um, at your well, current location? I mean, not, not like- Normally we do. <laughs> well, no, I mean, not like literally right now, but in general. Yeah. yeah, generally we do tours. I mean, we always laugh. Like, it's so tiny. It's like a five-cent tour. <laughs> you turn around? Yeah, pretty much like that's that's the fermenter. That's the brew house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, a lot of people have no idea how this is made. I mean, even half the stuff that you've said um, just in this few, short time we've been together, I had no idea. Yeah. You know? So, anyway. It's um, an amazing process. I mean, you yeah. take a giant 2,000 pound bag of grain you know usually it's barley or wheat and then you boil it for long enough and put in some yeast and then you end up with beer it's such a cool process to yeah. to watch and see how it goes through yeah it is pretty amazing well i'm a huge fan well you've turned me on to sours big time Yay! IPA is like just well it was it's just also good and it's just fun because they're also different you know 
Yeah, we, we like to have a lot of variety because we're kind of antsy. We like to try different things. Yeah. We have 23 taps, so we like to say that we try to have something for everybody. Yeah. Um, you know, and kids feel special when they come here, too, because we have our tap soda. You know, we've, we realize after we open, it's not just about being a brewery with beer. It's about being a place that people can come together and they bring their family or they meet up and they play a board game. You know, and beer is an important part of that. But it's not the only part of that. Right. right. That's, yeah, been that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, I, I think it's great because one of the first times we actually hung out was at your brewery. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it, it all helps people fall. Giant Jenga. Jenga. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's giant Awesome. Jenga. It helps people fall in love and make children as well. So congratulations. We <laughs> make them there. No, not there. <laughs> I mean, we can name a beer after it if it happened, but it would be a little <laughs> weird. We've, we've had a baby shower and the one-year-old's birthday party here. Oh, oh nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been pretty cool. But I also wanted to take the um, time to – I just want to shout out to everybody in Redlands and all the cities around us and say thank you. The support that everybody has given us and the other small businesses in town has been just beyond amazing. Uh, we know people are stressed and they don't want to go out. And they're making the time and dedicating themselves to come in and support us and other small businesses. And it's just, it's a beautiful thing that everybody's doing the Redlands strong and keeping all of us small businesses going because anybody knows it's, it's hard to keep it together and this is hard stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So please everybody support their local small businesses. Um, you know, we're lucky we've grown over the five years, so we're okay for a little bit. Um, but it's not always like that. And sometimes, you know, you miss one or two days of being open and that's enough to shut down some people. So yeah. if everybody could keep going out and even if you guys are just buying gift certificates, yeah. all of us are doing specials on that. And that's kind of like, it's kind of like a war bond. You know, you're, you're giving a commitment today to keep all of us open in the future. Um, and none of us can say enough of what that means when people, you know, they venture out of their house and they come in and they say hi and they support us on, um, all of the small businesses have been talking together and it's just, we're so lucky to have a city like this that supports us. Yeah. I agree with you. In fact, just to, for everybody out there listening, we've had a lot of people lately saying, well, I'm home, I have all this time. So I'm gonna shop local and buy all my birthday gifts and, and Christmas and you know uh, anniversary gifts all locally. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. I know. We, can't, we can't say thank you enough. I had a lady ask if she could buy gift certificates to put in Easter eggs. I that's a that. great idea. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's yeah, just really kind of causing us to, to think outside the box, you know, which I Yeah, like. yeah. Okay, outside Melissa, the I'd like to pick up your beer again. <laughs> <laughs> you got to come in. Come pick up some beer. I already forgot. You got to tell me again. You don't. You got to come in. We're at 721 Nevada Street, Suite 401. We're open until 8 o'clock tonight, tomorrow. Sunday, we are closed for Easter. Um, you can do curbside pickup, online orders, or come into the tasting room. We have all of our little stickers on the ground to keep everybody six feet apart. We are running a special. If you buy a $25 gift certificate, we're only going to charge you $20. And that is good for any time. So today, tomorrow, the future, please come and say hi. We have Redland Strong t-shirts. We have Redland Strong onesies. You have one onesies. Onesies. Yes. Yes. And, those. and dog shirts. Yeah, yeah. it's not the dog, dog shirts. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. You yeah. guys stay oh. safe. Happy Easter. Yeah, Josh you. is really thankful that you're his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that keeps him off the screen, he's happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, bye. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Stay safe, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Be safe. <laughs> bye. Bye. bye.